scapegoat and say that Jews, there's, there's no way that Jews could be that bad to make so many mistakes in the desert. It must have been the converts that attached themselves to us. So it's kind of a bigoted way to make Jews look special. But it's not explicit, and it's not in the Torah for sure. The Torah does not mention this at all. You know, so to assume that all the Israelites, because of blood, were behaving correctly, and the riffraff was only the outsiders because we know non-Jews cause trouble, is, is a bigoted way to view Jewish history. And it's, and it's not in the Torah like this at all. So yeah, according to Judaism, if you convert to Judaism, you're considered 100% Jewish, 100%. And it's actually one of the cardinal sins in the Torah to mistreat a convert. There's three sins that people never talk about that says that God himself is going to destroy you if you do this. And it's if you mistreat the orphan, the widow, and the stranger. Right, the stranger is the convert, right? the outsider who came in. He said, if you do one of these three things, God himself is going to make sure that, that, uh, that you don't continue existing. So it's, it's very important in Judaism not to mistreat outsiders, assuming they're docile and decent. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talking about like treatment. I was just talking about in terms of um, like, for example, in terms of actually becoming um, like Jewish, because I thought it was more of like a birthright where yeah. your mom has to be Jewish in order to actually be like a Jew, um, because I, I always had that impression. But I guess now you're telling me not necessarily because you could just convert to be a Jew. But does it apply to like Trump every right? I mean, you know that yeah, Ivanka Trump converted, you know, Sammy Davis Jr., Marilyn Monroe, you know, Liz Taylor. I mean, it's a thing. Yeah, big yes. Uh, who else? Uh, Shine. I mean, this guy Studemeyer, the basketball player. Um, right, right, but but technically. But it wouldn't get like, for example, if Shine has kids, his kids wouldn't get um, the birthright um, trip to Israel, right? They would. Yeah, no, Israel. Really? First of all, with the whole notion of birthright. So, because because I have a friend, they're Ashkenazi, and they told me that um, you, you have to get, you have to be like a quarter, or twenty five percent at least, or converts something. Converts also Jew? are eligible for birthright. I've known converts who've gone on the birthright trip. Yeah. Do do they? How do you how do you have to prove? Because you have to be accepted by the Chabad, right? Or is it just like as long as I claim it? So Chabad just kind of. I just want to work. Chabad is just one movement, and the, there's many different birthright organizations, right? So Chabad runs one called Mayanot. Uh, but yes, even Chabad would accept it. I don't think Chabad would accept a conservative well, convert to go on their birthright. But can you give me just an example of like one? uh like birthright organization that would just accept someone who converts to judaism and be able to like sponsor them on that trip all of them just because they, all like, of so, them. so like what are the conditions of converting in order to prove to them that you are jewish now is there or is it just like by verbal is it just no. a verbal thing like like what after do you have you to convert, prove after you convert, yeah. they give you a certificate that's signed by the individuals who witnessed you convert um, and then if these people want, they could call that rabbi up and verify it. But yeah, there's many converts who go on birthright. So, so basically, for example, this is going to sound kind of interesting. So like, yeah. like, let's say Palestinian, right? Like a Palestinian person who doesn't have access to, you know, certain places. If they were to convert to Judaism as a Palestinian, would they now get like, uh, the, the trap, the, tr the free trip? Okay. We have to make a distinction between this free trip that has nothing to do with the state of Israel and the right of return, right? It's two different things. Because the no, right of return- with their, with their citizenship status change? No, that's what I mean. Yeah, The birthright trip has nothing to do with citizenship. It's a private um, venture by- I'm by, talking about, conver about being a Jew, like a conversion thing. It's like being Jewish, you get that right as a Jew. Oh. Yeah, but that's yeah. not the trip called birthright. But there's a trip called birthright that you get a free yeah. trip to Israel, but it has nothing to do with the government. I mean, it's American philanthropists who who will buy your ticket for you just so young yeah, people. The, the, what? Right? Yeah, yeah, but the government, the government obviously is allowing it. It's not like the government doesn't know what's going on. The government has to approve of it, so they kind of do have to do with it, right? Well, You're not just going to enter the country. I'm, I'm saying like that. That organization, like, sorry, man. I'm just trying to like clarify. Yeah. yeah no okay. So. Yeah, so like that, that the whole the birthright trip thing, the free trip that you get to go to Israel just because, you know, you're Jewish. Because I thought it would, so my, my friend, uh, she told me that she got, like, I don't know how they reached out to her. She didn't tell me how, but because she was like a quarter Jewish, um, like 25% or 50%. I don't know how much she was, but she just told me she was a certain percentage Jewish. And because her percentage, 
she was high enough of a percentage to qualify for a trip to um to, to Israel. But the thing is, I'm wondering. So now if like let's say a guy he is from for example Mexico, like a Mexican guy, for example. Yeah. He's like, hey man, you know, I'm Catholic. I grew up Catholic my whole life. My parents are Catholic, we're Mexicans. Um, but like, hey man, I want to convert to Judaism. So he's gonna go get that certificate now and you know, I guess study the religion and finally get the certificate. And then once he gets the certificate, would he get that same type of, um, would he get that trip too, like the free ticket? Just yeah. curious. I converted to Judaism and yeah. I moved to Israel. Well, oh. my passport somewhere here. Yeah. And I mean, I got a free citizenship in Israel. I lived there for five years. Yeah, I mean, it has nothing to do with blood and it has nothing to do with percentage. The state of Israel, okay. So let's make a distinction between birthright that gives you a free trip and immigrating to Israel when you officially immigrate to Israel from America, and I guess other places where there's some sort of Jewish agency, they pay for your trip to Israel as well, and they give you money for around six months. I think the Salakrita back then, well, I think it was two hundred fifty dollars a month. It's not much, but and they they put it they put you up in a place for six months, like some sort of absorption center, and they teach you Hebrew. They put you them through something called an upan, and if and they'll teach you a trade even, and if you're young enough, well, they'll even pay your university. This is if if the state of Israel recognizes you as Jewish. Now, the standards for being Jewish by the state of Israel is having a Jewish mother or a Jewish father, right? Either one. That's not the Orthodox standard. The Orthodox standard is just having a Jewish mother. Okay, now the birthright trips, it's different. It depends who's running the birthright trip. The birthright trip, well, they'll have LGBTQ birthright trips now. That have they have nothing to do with the state of Israel. They have nothing to do with religion. They're rich Jews in America who sponsor young people to go to Israel because there's kind of an anti-Israel sentiment floating around in American universities. And they want people to go there and see it for themselves and, and you know, like make them, I don't know, like more Zionistic. That's the whole purpose of birthright. Religious Jews who go on birthright typically go by Chabad, like by Mayanot. That's the main like religious birthright trip, but there's many birthright trips uh, like sponsored by the OU and stuff like that. And some that are just plain, you know, plain Jewish birthright trips, right? I mean, the difference is that if it's not a religious birthright trip, you don't know where you're eating, right? I okay. Mean, but they'll now, take you I... to the restaurants, they'll do stuff on Shabbat, which is problematic. Yeah. 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 No, because it's, it's just because I, 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 I was all, always, because um, I was reading, like sometimes I'd read um, the 